everyone. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'll be making a modern farmhouse wall plaque. I've seen so many variations on the internet, YouTube videos, and even uh, department stores. So I wanted to bring you along and show you how I make mine. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll be notified every time I do upload a video. And if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel to grow. So if we're ready, let's get started. The supplies that I used for this project is this whitewash wood plank that I got from Walmart and it is in the craft section. And I use nautical rope um, from the Dollar Tree it's already attached because this is an old project that I'm reusing. I'll be using some jute and I need the lighter to burn off the little fuzzy hairs. I'll be using this T-Rex double-sided super glue tape and some hot glue. I got these bottles from the Dollar General. They all had flowers in them, but I took uh, them out of three. And then I have three different variations of greenery that I'll be putting inside the bottles. So the first thing, of course, you would do is add your hanger. So now I'm going to attach the bottles to the plank. I'm going to use the double-sided super glue tape. And on these bottles, they have some writing on them, a hundred cc's or something like that. Um, so I want to hide that. So I'm going to, that's where I'm going to lay my tape and glue it to the wood board. I'm adding some hot glue so it'll stick immediately and I can continue with the project. So now that all three bottles are glued down to my board, I'm ready to place the greenery inside the bottles. On these bottles, they have the clear gel, you know, the hard clear gel. It, it kind of mimics water, I would say. So all I did was stick those stems right in that. So simple. This really was a simple project. Now I'm deciding where I want to put the other greenery.
some little pieces of the box wood. So what I did is glued the little piece right onto the stem. That way um, it makes it look fuller. Now I'm ready to put the jute around the rim of the bottles. I will be wrapping the jute around twice and I want the knot in the front. And now I'm burning the jute, hairy pieces of jute off of the cord. <laughs> So I'll wrap the jute around twice around the rim and I want the knot right in the front and I'm going to cut the strings and glue them to the back. I'm gluing those loose strings right to the back of the bottle. I really like the way it looks with the knot in the front. And there it is. So I will wrap the jute around the next two bottles off camera and be right back. Okay, so there they are. They're all done. I did add a little more boxwood to the third jar just to make it even on the top. And I really like the way it came out. It's super cute. I hope you like it too. Here's a picture of it hanging on my wall. And here is where I actually ended up putting it, hanging from a coat rack. I really like the way it came out. I hope you do too. Thanks for watching. Bye.